Shampooing can be a relaxing way to prepare your client's hair for the next service. Ensure your client is wearing the correct personal protective equipment, a gown and a towel to protect their clothing. Detangle the hair before you begin. Analyse the hair and scalp to make the correct product choice, making reference to hair type, texture and condition of hair and scalp. Ask the client to lean back into the wash basin and make sure that she is sitting comfortably. Remove any hair from face and ask the client to remove any accessories such as glasses or jewellery. When shampooing, make sure you wear gloves or apply a protective lotion on the hands as we have done here. Run the water and check the water temperature on your wrist. Once ready, apply the water to the client's scalp and ask the client if the temperature is OK. Make sure to cover the whole head, including the nape of the neck and behind the ears, until completely wet. Choose a suitable shampoo for the client's hair type and any other factors identified during the hair and scalp analysis. Dispense the correct amount of shampoo, either one pump or about the size of a two-pence piece. Distribute the product evenly between your hands, then use effleurage techniques to apply the product evenly through the hair. Effleurage movement is a slow, smoothing, stroking massage movement done with the palms of the hands during shampooing. Rotary techniques are applied using small, firm, circular massage movements using the pads of the fingers. Do not use rotary techniques with longer hair as it can cause knots and tangles. Friction techniques with quick rubbing movements will remove any buildup or debris from the hair if the hair is not too long. Repeat the rotary massage technique until the shampoo and water emulsify. When the hair is ready for rinsing, turn the water back on, check temperature on your wrist, then rinse the hair using the same cupping method we used at the beginning, checking temperature with client. Work from the front hairline to remove the shampoo. Make sure both hands and hair are free from any suds. Squeeze out any excess water. Apply a second shampoo if necessary, repeating the shampoo application and massage techniques. The second shampoo may lather more than the first. Run the water and rinse until all the shampoo has been removed. Turn off the water and gently squeeze hair to remove excess water. Wrap a towel around the hair to stop any drips from the hair entering the eyes or face. Now our client is ready for her conditioner treatment, which we will cover in the next video.